So a few weeks ago, I was at a stunt show and in the opening of the show, we were all kind of riding, we're doing our thing. And to start off, we had to pedal at this quarter pipe, get some air and then hit the box jump and do a trick just to start it off. And so when it was my turn, I started cranking at the quarter pipe, pedaling as hard as I can to get enough speed and my chain snapped. Hit my knee on the stem, flipped over the bars and it was embarrassing. I did it in front of all these people. I was out of commission, bike was out of commission and I didn't get to ride in that show because my chain snapped. And so it's really important that you find a trusty chain that's not gonna do that to you. Because if anyone has had that experience of snapping a chain, your knee really feels it and it's a terrible thing. And so in the Discord, Rowan was asking, anyone have experience with this chain or Colt chains in general? It's right in his price range. It's a P121 half link chain and it costs about 33 Canadian dollars. So Kirk went ahead and commented, Kirk's one of the Discord mods, and he said, I've used plenty of Colt 121 half link chains. They do as intended. And here's where I'm gonna share my three cents. I've never ridden that chain. I've really stuck to the cheap KMC chains and then transitioned to the shadow interlock chains because the quality is just incredible. But when you're looking at chains, you need to really focus on the balance between quality and weight. Some chains are really light and typically they're gonna be lower quality or they're gonna break easier. There's hollowed out KMC Z1 chains and then there's cheap KMC chains, but the hollowed out ones are a little bit stronger, but they're quite a bit lighter. And because of that weight difference and the hollow it out, it's going to suffer in quality. Okay. And so you're constantly finding the balance between high quality and low weight. And usually if you find something right in the middle, that's the way to go. So when you're considering a chain, I really don't think that that's something you should get too hung up on. You should find something in your price range that's decent quality. If you can afford a half link or a 510 chain, those two are much better options over a 410 chain. And then find something, like I said, that works for you because all chains get the job done. The cheap KMC chain is still gonna move your back wheel. It's still gonna allow you to pedal. It's still gonna allow your bike to work properly, right? And on the contrary, the very expensive Shadow Interlock Supreme chain, it's gonna do the same thing. The difference is the Supreme chain is gonna last quite a bit longer. And so if longevity is something you're considering, you might wanna look at a more expensive chain. But if you really don't care and you just want a chain that works, you just find something in your budget and buy a chain. It might snap in a few months, but it's like you only spent $10 on it, so it doesn't matter that much. Anyway, all of that to say, find a chain that works good for you and does what you need it to. I wouldn't, again, you're gonna to wanna to consider part like handlebars, forks, cranks, wheels. Those are things that you're really gonna to wanna to consider. You're gonna to wanna to do your due diligence. You wanna research the brand. You wanna make sure that it's gonna hold up and that the geometry is right for you. A chain is just a chain. It comes with 72 links. You break it down to whatever fits your current setup and your chain stay length, and then you ride it. A cheaper chain is gonna break in a few months. A more expensive chain may never break for you. That's kind of it. It's, it's like, it's that simple. So I really wouldn't overthink the chain situation too much, Rowan. It looks like a decent chain. It's a half link chain. $33 is in your budget. Grab it. Probably going to be happy with it. And uh, yeah, don't stress very much. Okay. So if you guys are new to BMX or you need help with BMX, join the BMX Nerds Discord. You can post your question just like Rowan did and get answers from over 1300 members. It's a huge BMX community and I'd love to see you in there. The link for that is in the description.